Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nocturnal Gaming Network. My name is Zira, and today we are playing Space Agency once again. Last time we were together, we successfully completed the moon landing. The wonderful moon landing. We chose to go to the moon and did so in under 10 minutes. Wonderful. Today, we begin work on the ADS system, phase one. Let's start with our briefing. So, mission number 17, ADS phase one. Our objectives are to launch ADS core module into orbit, dock a resupply module with it, move the core module into the target zone. And our budget is 1 million to, wow, I'm way off, excuse me, 120 million dollars. And our max time is 15 minutes, zero seconds. So to protect home against the threat of asteroid impact, the agency has decided to launch a new Asteroid Detection System, or ADS for short. Two missions will be required to fully assemble the system. One to launch the central core module, phase one, and a further mission to launch and attach its two sensor wings, phase two. Launch the ADS core module into space. It is located in the station parts menu, and it's a big, heavy piece of technology. We must dock a resupply module to the orbiting core module and move it out into orbit and into its final operating position. The position has been programmed into the Navi computer as ADS. So, for gold award, we must use 98 point four seven five million dollars or less and we have a time of six minutes fifty seconds or less with no checkpoint all right so if we remember correctly ninety eight point four seven five million is pretty close to the uh, the launch for the uh, moon landing so Let's see here. I think they want us to to do something like this. 89%. Hmm. How heavy is this thing? Can I do it with just this bit? ADS, there it is. 84%. Oops. So 84% using the Saturn V launch system. Let's see what we have available for for medium stage. I don't know if we can do it with medium stage stuff or not. Uh, hmm. Let's let's use this tug and let's put boosters on this big boy. Sixty-four percent. All right, what does this say when I add the ADS 58 and 14? What about our fairing? How much is that going to drop our projected? Oh, yeah, 56%. Okay, so we definitely need something heavier than this black arrow. Um, well, what do we got? The Aryans. Lifting power. So... Okay, so the Aryans first stage and the Black Arrow first stage are exactly the same. Hmm. The lifting power isn't as... Oh, hmm. it's the fuel that isn't as good. Let's take a look at this. It's 76%. What's this one say? 76%. 76%. Okay, so what if what if we use the black arrow and we put a small module heavy tug on there 
and then the ADS on this. 30%. And that brings it to 58, and we have a further 31%. Hmm. I don't think we can do it with either the Aryans or the bl Black Arrow. I think we're going to have to go with the um, Delta Booster here. Oh, what is going on here? Where are my... There they are. That was weird. They just disappeared on me. Okay, so medium stage. We want to we want to keep the weight down on this thing. So let's try the tug module here, and then the ADS piece. There it is. So fifty two. Let's put the fairing on here just to see what's going on. Eleven and fifty. And what happens when we put 60? Okay, so we've got like, I don't remember the exact number and I don't want to remake it. So we've got like 10% 10, 10 higher launch with this setup right here. And all of the, it looks like this small uh, stage tug is actually going to be capable of lifting the ADS module here. So I think, I think I'm going to try this one. Yeah, that's about right. Okay, so one last time I'll go over this just because that was sort of confusing. We have the Delta first stage. We have the connector medium to small. We have the heavy tug module. We have the Arian 5 boosters. We have the ADS core module. And then lastly, we have a fairing. And that comes to a total of 23,825, which is a hell of a lot less than the uh, 98 million that they are estimating this would take. But we may not be able to launch this, so I'm going to try it because I'm a daredevil. So let's hit launch, and then we'll immediately go back, and we have a second uh, rocket to launch. We need to launch a resupply module into space. So, uh, you know what, where we have so much spare money, I'm going to go with the Titan module. If If we really wanted, we could use the Mercury first stage, but... You know, we have a ton of money left over. And I'm going to put a bunch of batteries on this thing because because why not? We're, we've been told by the description that we're definitely coming back to it. There's going to be a second part. So we want to make sure that we have enough batteries to last us until we send another rocket here to do whatever. To add to add solar wings, I think it was, or sensor wings or something. So here's our second um, rocket. We have a Titan, we have a connector small to small, a resupply module with five batteries, the aero fairing, and two long march boosters. All right, now that we have our rockets completely made, it is time for the moment of truth. I am not going to skip this launch because I I don't think it's going to work. But I may be wrong. You may get to see this recording after all. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go! Okay, so once we clear the tower, I am immediately going to start doing some small pulses with this because I need to conserve as much fuel as physically possible here. And I'm going to start to turn it as I pulse because we Commence want to be turning program. early. That way we can get, uh, so we can stay perfectly within the green. Oh, we're out of thrusters. All right, so I'm going to start to pulse to the left and kind of drag my finger 
to the left there so I can keep this thing like bouncing and try and keep it within the the allotted area for our roll. We want to be very very careful here. Once we get this thing flat again, I'm actually just gonna just gonna use the rest of my fuel because it looks like we've actually made it. And I don't want to risk spinning it around or something. But this looks perfect. I can't believe that we just kind of made this. This, this is so exciting. Okay, so let's separate everything down to the tug module and get it lined up correctly. Right about there, that looks perfect. Oh, I need to take a minute because I'm kind of shaking a little bit. That was amazing. I can't believe that we got that rocket from 60% into space like that. I thought I was going to fail for sure. Okay, so now we will launch our second Five, rocket and, you four, know, this one's kind of so-so because we've done this before. One. It's amazing. We... <gasps> oh no! Oh no, I, I have screwed up. We only have one thruster working. <laughs> I took this simple launch and I have just made it extreme <laughs> why did I do this <laughs> that's okay I think we can do this I think I've done this before I can't remember I, I have deja vu right now that's okay we'll kind of we'll, we'll keep it going you know worse comes to worse we crash into the dirt and I try again and you guys never know but but I don't think that's going to happen. I think we've got just running low on speed. we got to keep our speed up. That's the thing we got to watch. we got to watch our speed. We're getting close to the sky. Close to the uh, leaving the atmosphere. So I think I can just kind of... There's the stars. I can, I can go. I got this. We've got plenty of fuel now. That was good. That was great. That was absolutely amazing. So I'm going to cut the engine. And... Alright, so we're halfway. So I'm going to get ourselves moving again. Boom. Get ourselves speeded up. Fairing sped set. up. Stage and set. we're almost at escape velocity. Skirt set. And we want to get ourselves lined up perfectly. Where is this module? Okay, so... So I'm going to slow it down a little bit. So I have some time to catch up. And I want to move it inside. Just a teeny tiny bit. Just like that. Okay, so I'm going to speed this one up to match. Where are we? We're almost at escape velocity, so I'll slow it down just a teeny tiny bit. Separate the module. Payload release. Make sure I don't run into the module. And... Where is it? It's right here, so I can slow it down just a hair. One, two, and we should connect right now. Perfect. All right, and then we will speed ourselves up. We've got a clear escape when we get on ADS. Perfect. All right. Ooh, okay. So we want to speed ourselves up. Let's... Oh, oh no. What am I doing here? Come on. Line up, please, with ADS. There we are. Okay. So we're two speed. We're lined up perfectly. Perfectly. With ADS. And we are 180 degrees. So now we can kind of just sit back and wait a little bit. Because... We have 600 more units to go before we reach our destination. And that is this random point out in space. I don't know if I've got a box or if I just need to be close enough to it. We'll find out in just a second here. 500 more units. I don't understand why that ADS module is so heavy. It's not that much bigger than the resupply module. But apparently it is because... That Delta had a hard time lifting it. I realized that we finally got it. I didn't think we would. But I'm so excited that we did that. I'm going to try some stuffs in the, uh, in the um, sandbox mode. See what we can do to further 
abuse launches like that. Maybe, maybe there'll be an easy way to use like the Delta to launch a refuel module. I think those are currently the heaviest modules in the game, the re, uh, refueling modules. So, we are within 200 meters units of the spot, and I don't see anything yet. We're pretty close. Ah, there is a box. Okay. So, I'm going to slow ourselves down, and I'm going to hit left and just reline ourselves up. Perfect. And then I think from here, I should just be able to slow ourselves down. Yeah, we're almost going straight into the center of this. This is going to be perfect. Just keep going, keep slowing down. And we are done. Mission perfect. Complete. And that is a gold award on the ADS launch. So, let's see here. We completed the mission in 4 minutes and 57 seconds. And of our 120 million allotted budget, we have used 31.6 million dollars. So, a quarter of our total allotted budget. Well under the requirement for gold. Oh, and we're kind of drifting forward, I guess, but apparently that's okay. The game doesn't care. And so I guess that is mission number 17, completed with gold. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Zira, and this is the Nocturnal Gaming Network. Have a wonderful night.